faceoff. Back out to Jesse Grant, far side, one timer, and they make quick work of it. They score. Five seconds into the power play, the Mavericks go up one nothing, and Ian Lowe with a dirty look at Sean Fernandez. All season long, but here tonight wearing 42, which we were not informed about that change until just a, about puck drop. Here's Zach O'Brien into the zone, found down to two knees, able to keep his footing, gets over the blue line and blasts a slap shot, past Nagelvord, and ties the game. What a goal by Zach O'Brien. We are tied 1-1 here early in the first. What a blast by Zach O'Brien. He lost his footing right at the blue line, gathered himself and skated it right in and just teed it up and it went blocker side. And it's a tight game at 17-20. Actually touched that puck, not Loic Marcotte. Marcotte has it out to center. Long out left pass to O'Brien up the left wing. Gets into the zone, far side, shoots, he scores! Zach O'Brien! Wrist shot past Nagelvord's glove! And the Thunder take the lead. What a snipe by the St. John's Newfoundland native as we take a look at the replay. Upper corner. What a shot that was. That was a snipe right there. That was a goal scorer's goal. Streaking down the left wing and just puts it over the glove side of Nagel Horn. In the far corner for Missouri. Able to get that out to Jesse Graham. who move it to the middle of the ice. Backpedaling all the way to the near circle. He fires a wrist shot and scores. Through traffic off the post, this game is tied at two. Which I had a couple of chances to get that. In the zone, and he tried to go far side with a wrist shot. Almost too many men on the ice here for the Mavericks, but Tansy fires one through a screen. Jacob Doty might have got a piece of that. And it's a three to two Maverick lead here in the second period. Over to Fox, to the deep slot. Top of the far circle, they try and move it back to the far side. Here's a wrist shot near side and a chance there for Dane Fox and he actually beat Owsley. It looked like Owsley was going to make that save, Jason, but it got past him on the glove side post and the Mavericks go up 4-2. to two. David Friedman finding a loose puck. Throws a backhand up the far boards. Didn't get past Benjamin D.A.D. Favelle. Blake Tatchell unable to clear that up the wall. Now kept in. There's a break down the slot. Backdoor feed. A shot and they score again to the blocker side of Owsley. Mavericks make it 5-2, to two, Jason, with 14.51 to go in the second. Blake Tatchell can't clear that pass. Corey Alley it's sent back into the Thunder Zone right wing corner. One on one to the outside. Out to the line. Token in a shot on net, and it goes off the stick of, I believe, Corey Alley on a tip in front, and the Mavericks make it 6-2. to two. It's Sent back into the Thunder Zone right wing corner. One on one to the outside, out to the line. Token in a shot on net and it goes off the stick of, I believe, Corey Alley on a tip in front and the Mavericks make it six to two. We'll dump this in behind Scott Grenham. He'll lift it up the far dasher. That was kept in the zone to the slot. Here's a wrist shot there from Elo and he scores. Over the glove of Grenham. It's 7-2, Jason, with seven minutes gone by in the third. Yeah, two to radio broadcasters say that, Jason. There's Fox up the left wing side, comes into the zone, and he scores. Under the crossbar with a wrist shot over the blocker of Grenham. Well, for a four game, as UNC is up 46-38 on Oregon. Now the other way, here's Robertson into the zone. He's got a man open, first side glove, save there by Grenham. A two-on-one break, and Scott there by Nagelvort. As the horn sounds, and the rookie netminder from Michigan gave up two goals. The two goalies early on looked a little bit leaky, but Nagelvort was able to recover and didn't let anything past him after the O'Brien second goal, and he gives the Mavericks a 8-2 win here tonight at Interest Bank Arena.